celebrate, celebration, celebrate, 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 celebration, celebrate. Hey, what's your style? What you drinking? What's your vibe? I've been feeling rather sad in the corner of my glass. Boy, what's your style? What you drinking? What's your vibe? I've been feeling rather sad. Oh yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. So this is going to be my 4.30 a.m. morning routine. I am a morning person. I love waking up in the morning. I usually wake up at 4.30 a.m. Um, mostly because I'm in college. I usually have an 8 a.m. class and I commute to school. So it takes about 30 minutes for me to drive. Um, and I also go to bed really early. I would say my bedtime is like 8 p.m. or 8.30, 9 p.m. at the latest. <laughs> So yeah, I'm sort of like a grandma. Before I get started on this video, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the kind and positive feedbacks on my what I eat in a day video. I honestly wasn't sure if I wanted to start uploading more just because I didn't really know how it was going to go with my busy schedule. Obviously school will always be my number one priority. If you didn't know, I'm... A bio major and I'm planning on becoming a physician assistant so obviously school life and all that stuff is like my future that's at my absolute number one priority and fitness is just like my hobby it's something I do on the side I don't know if you guys know but YouTube takes a lot of time filming at the gym took me like four hours filming editing videos takes like literally six to ten hours no joke like reading your guys comments reading your experience and what you're struggling with and you guys taking the time to comment on my videos asking me to make more videos like for me as long as my content help someone out that gives me a purpose to upload more so i really really appreciate that like you guys have no idea how much it means to me so i think i'm done talking now Let's get going with the morning routine. Good morning, Bruno. 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 Okay. Rude. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Um, yeah, this is how I look in the morning. <laughs> but anyways, it's currently 4.30. I just woke up. I usually pee first and then I'm gonna put in my contacts, brush my teeth, wash my face, all that good stuff. There's Bruno in the background. You probably saw this shirt in my old video, but I just sleep with baggy t-shirts. I am almost out of toothpaste. But we're gonna make this last. Break too easily, but I'm worth it. Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight. Oh, so give me, so give me your all. I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars. Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind. Just watch me break in. We're gonna go. Oops, almost stepped on my dog. Ooh, sorry, I'm very bad at this. We're gonna go eat something. Today's leg day. I'm walking you guys through it. Most requested video ever. Why is this shit slanted? What am I gonna have for breakfast? I think I'm gonna have an avocado, um, toast with salmon, maybe a banana. You wait to see if it's worth your while. Uh, oh, oh, oh. So give me, so give me your all. I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars. Oh, I'll stick like. And then for salmon, it's already cooked and pre made. Smoked salmon, you can get it from Walmart. You would do anything that I want. So keep us awake till the dawn.
actually hate eating first thing in the morning, but whenever I go to the gym, I get hungry, and then when I'm hungry at the gym, I just want to give up. It's just not a good time. Not a good time. So, this is what I'm wearing. Today at the gym, sorry, I just ate. I'm like really bloated. <laughs> I don't know how we feel about them. They're really tight. They're tighter than I thought. <laughs> I maybe should have got a medium, but this is a small. So, yeah, we will see how it goes at the gym. Hopefully, I don't rip them. Okay, now it's time to put on deodorant, take our pre workout, and head to the gym. I like using men's deodorant because I like the smell of it and it's cheaper. This is $2 compared to my old deodorant, it was like $5. Oh, it's a little bit too much. I did not finish my breakfast, I just have like half an avocado left. I really tried, and it's just, I don't like eating in the morning. Now it's time. I just do the dry scoop, basically flip the whole thing in my mouth. So give me, so give me your all. I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars. Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind. Just watch me break it. So starting off, I'm just going to be doing my warm-ups with some banded workouts. I'm going to be doing this exercise, 30 reps on each side. And I don't really break too easy, but I'm worth it, cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight, oh, so give me, so give me your all, I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars, oh. I'm going to be supersetting um, the previous exercise with this banded um, deadlift and I'm going to be using a kettlebell instead Just watch me. Like I said, this is going to be a superset so you're just gonna go back to the first exercise and you're going to repeat this three times for this exercise, um, it's really important for you to push through your heels and as you go to the top of the movement, you want to use your knees and push against the resistance band. If you don't really feel anything in your glutes for this exercise, I suggest lowering the weight of the kettlebell um, until you actually feel something in your glutes. The kettlebell that I'm using is 18 pounds. I can do 18 pounds or 16 pounds. It just really depends on your strength and your body. Different people feel it in their glutes at different weights, so just adjust it according to what you feel. For my next glute activation, I'm going to be doing kickbacks with resistance band. Notice how I place my resistance band um, below my knee and basically using my knee to anger the resistance band down. That's really important. That's the best way that I could feel it in my glutes. And you want to focus on squeezing your glutes at the top as well. I'm going to be doing this exercise 15 reps on each leg, sets of three. For this exercise, I usually try to go really slow. Um, I know in the video I'm going a little bit fast. I thought I was going slow, so filming myself at the gym actually will help me improve my form even better. But try to go slow and really, really focus on squeezing your glutes. Then I'm going to be doing banded glute bridges. I do 15 reps and sets of three. You want to really focus on pushing up with your heels I won't make it easy for you now you got too many of my time 
Before I do um, squats, I usually swing my legs like back and forth to take the tension off of my hip flexors. Um, when I squat, sometimes I do feel tension in my hip flexors instead of my glutes and my legs. So this is just to help loosen up the muscle a little bit. Here I'm just doing 15 reps of um, squats with just the bar and also when you're lifting you want to either lift barefoot or with a pair of flat shoes. I usually lift with Converse, you can get Vans if you want, just any shoes that's flat. So warming up, I'm just going to be doing 12 reps of 3 with 25 pounds plate on each side. And I'm just going to be squatting with a heavier weight. This one I also do 12 reps in sets of 3 as well. And I'm just doing traditional squats right now. I'll go on into sumo a little bit later. With squats, I do sometimes squeeze my butt at the top and sometimes I don't. It just really depends on what I'm feeling and I like to mix it up in general. Now I'm just adding more weights to the bar and for this I'm also going to be doing 12 reps in sets of 3 as well. Also, don't forget to drink your water. I basically always drink um, two things of the water bottle that I have now every gym session. Sometimes I even fill it up three times. So drink your water, boys and girls. It really helps with bloating. Here I'm just squatting with the same weight, doing 12 reps. Um, like I said, sometimes I do bring my hips forward at the top of the movement, sometimes I don't. Now I'm going to be adding more weight. Um, for this one, I'm only going to be doing 8 reps, I think, in sets of 3. And I'm going to be using a belt, just because it's a bit heavier. There's nothing personal in having a little fun. You really want to push yourself every single time when you work out. I honestly, even though I'm struggling, obviously you'll see my face that I'm really struggling. It always feels so much better at the end of my session. Um, whenever I feel like I didn't push myself hard enough, I just feel bad. Like You're here for yourself. You're here to work on yourself. So you'll get stronger every single week. I promise you. This year, I'm really going to be focusing on lifting heavier. I'm going to be supersetting the squat with a Romanian deadlift with dumbbells. I do 15 reps in sets of 3. As you can probably tell, I do everything in sets of 3 or sets of 4. It really depends. Um, for this exercise, you want to focus on pushing with your heels and squeezing your glutes at the top. I 
also always try to go slow with a lot of my exercises just because I really want to engage all of my muscles instead of going with the momentum. Now I'm moving on to sumo squats. I hate doing sumo squats so much. So I'm only going to be doing eight reps with three sets. For sumo squats, I always, always squeeze my glutes at the top and really focus on pushing with your heels when you're going up. Now we're moving on to deadlifts, but usually before I start, I always do some type of glute activation exercises in between. Here I'm just doing um, kettlebell squats. Um, I'm doing 15 reps and I'm also going to be using gloves for my deadlifts. And I know in the bodybuilding world, if you use gloves, you're considered like a puss, but I'm just going to own it. I have horrible grips. So... And I have long nails because of my fake nails. So if you like to get your nails done and you still want to be able to do deadlifts, basically just use gloves. It'll prevent the nails from pushing back into your palm. I'm not sure what happens here, but this is the part where my videos um, got super grainy. So just ignore it. <laughs> now we're moving to hip thrust. I usually never do my hip thrust on a Smith just because I never feel it on a Smith. Um, but here, all the squat racks were taken, so I'm just going to be warming up on the Smith machine instead. I'm doing 15 regular hip thrusts with a band, of course, and then I'm also going to be supersetting it with frog thrust. So for the frog thrust, you basically bring your feet together, as you can see here, and then you push your hips up at the top and also try to push against the resistance band as well. Now I'm going to be doing more hip thrust. This is my warm up. I do 15 reps and then I'm going to be supersetting with air hip thrust in between. This is going to hurt really bad. Like this is why I hate hip thrust so much. But if you want those glute gains, do your hip thrust. So this is 235. I'm gonna do 235. Um, three sets, reps of eight. Welcome back. Camera died. Didn't get to record my full workout, but that's okay. I'm now back at home. I just made my breakfast. I usually eat like the same thing every day. Got four eggs and three sausages and also my smoothie with two scoops of protein. This has 920 calories. So I'm just going to eat my breakfast and then go for a walk with my dog. Um, it's going to be a short walk, like 10 to 15 minutes. So change of plans. We're actually just going to go to the dog park just because I know Bruno hasn't been there in a few days and he's dying to go. I won't make it easy for you now. So I'm now back in my apartment. We were literally at the park for like 10 minutes. So after I walk or take Bruno to the park, I just jump in the shower and then I'm just gonna do my makeup after that. When it's up my time. And I don't really break too easily, but I'm worth it. Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight. Oh, so give me, so give me your all. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna end this video here. I just put on a little bit of makeup. Now I'm gonna get some more filming done for you guys. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!